What's up guys, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create lower thirds for social media. So we will create something like these, as you can see on my program monitor. These are very decent, very easy and simple to create. And you are gonna see in a very few seconds that how easy these are to create. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in my project panel and we'll bring in this Instagram logo there on my timeline. And then I'm going to go in my effect tab and we'll search for transform effect and we'll drag it and drop it over here on my logo. So the reason why we are using transform effect is because we, I mean, after animating our logo, we would want to kind of apply a motion blur effect as well. And that is like the prime reason why we want to use the transform effect. Otherwise, we could kind of use these motion effects as well very easily so now i'm going to go in my effect control tab and we'll first of all scale this out so i think uh, it looks fine at this point and uh, i'm just going to bring this down and we'll now move it towards my lift at this point and we'll further down at this point so now the position and scaling is sorted so we will now start animating it and for that i'm going to create my first keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch icon over here in the position effect and we'll now take my logo completely off the screen and we'll now move my playhead at this point and we'll create another keyframe by clicking on this icon over here and we'll now bring the logo back on the screen uh, at this point and we'll now move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames ahead. And in fact, I'm gonna go back two frames. So six frames ahead, and we'll create another keyframe at this point, and we'll now bring the logo back at this position. So let's play this and see what we have done so far. I think it looks great. And all we need to do is we need to add in motion blur, and to do that. I'm just going to untick this use composition shutter uh, box over here and we'll set the shutter angle at 360 degree and we just I mean we now just need to kind of uh, adjust our position values once again so I'm gonna bring my uh, logo back at this point and we'll now move to the second keyframe and we'll take it over here and we'll now play uh, in fact I'm gonna just, yeah at this point and we'll now Play this and see how it looks i think it looks great and you can see this uh, really cool motion blur effect going on as well over here so guys our logo is fully animated the next thing we need to do is we need to select the type tool from the tools bar over here so that we can start typing our text in and i'm going to start typing my text so yeah it's all done so i'm just going to go back to my selection tool and we'll start aligning it I think it looks fine at this position and now I'm just going to go back in the tools bar and we'll select this rectangle tool and we'll draw a rectangle around this uh, text over here so I think it looks fine guys right now you can see that our shape our rectangle is covering our I mean half of our logo and our text as well so just don't worry about it at all uh, because we are going to fix it in a few seconds first of all i'm just going to kind of align both these tracks so which are aligned right now and i'm just going to bring my graphics layer under my logo layer and now you can see that our logo has started appearing completely and now i'm going to go in my essential graphics panel and will bring my shape under my text and now you can see that our text has started appearing as well so guys all of our styling i mean i'm going to leave everything as it is because i don't want to spend more time on styling and font size and, and, and all of that so i'm just going to go in my effect control tab now and we'll start animating our shape so to do that the first thing we need to do is select the shape and because i want my uh, animation to start from left to right and to do that i just need to kind of first of all move my anchor point from center to left and i'm just going to kind of use my mouse and my command key and i'm going to drag this anchor point use uh, while pressing my command key towards left if you want to kind of start your animation from 
right to left then you will have to kind of move your anchor point towards the right because i'm doing it from left to right so i'm moving my anchor point towards the left so now our anchor point has been moved so i'm just going to go in here in the scale and will untick uniform scale box and will set my first keyframe at this point because this is the point where our logo will finish animating so at this point i'm just going to create my first keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch icon over here in the horizontal scale and we'll set the value at zero and we'll now move let's say one two three four five six seven eight eight frames ahead and we'll create in the keyframe and we'll set the value back to 100 and we'll play it to see how it looks so i think uh, the animation is happening too fast so we just need, need to kind of move the second keyframe further apart from the first one so yeah i think that looks fine let's play it again and see yeah this is the perfect animation and now we just need to animate the text as well and to do that we will select the text over here and we'll go in the opacity effect uh, which you can find it over here and we'll set the first keyframe at the point where our box finish i mean our, i mean where our box completes its animation at this point our box um, animation will be fully completed so i'm going to create my first opacity keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch icon and we'll set the value at zero and we'll now move one two three four five six seven eight frames ahead and we'll create another keyframe and we'll revert back to our original values that were 100 so let's play it and see what we have done so I think it looks absolutely fine. The only thing I can do is I can kind of move the opacity second keyframe a bit further. And let's see how it looks now. So yeah, I think it looks much better. We've got this gradual fade in effect as well. So guys, this is how easy it is to create a social media lower third here. And you can kind of create, I mean, you can use the same steps to create one for your Facebook, LinkedIn, or your Twitter. All you have to do is just replace this Instagram logo with your a Twitter, Facebook or LinkedIn logo. And the other thing you can do is you can also kind of nest both these uh, tracks as well. And to do that, you just have to kind of select both these tracks and right click and then click on nest and then name it. So I'm going to name it as IG lower third. And now you can see both these tracks have been nested. And what I can do now is I can move my clip under here. And now you can see that starts, I mean, it has started appearing on my clip as, as my IG lower third. And right now it looks too big. So what I can do is I can go in this nested track and I can scale it down. I won't have to kind of do it individually. Uh, I can just kind of use this nested track and I can move to the position adjustments as well as, and I mean, uh, I mean, however I like. I think at this point it looks absolutely fine. Let's play it once again and see. So I think it looks perfect. So guys, this is how easy it is to create a lower third for social media. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, anything you would like to ask, feel free to drop those in the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I'm now gonna see you in the next one. So till then, you take care of yourself.